Hi, we're here to show you how underlayment can be done underneath of a slate roof on a valley. So as you can see, we've got the ice and water shield at the bottom three feet, and then we've got the ice and water shield going all the way up the valley. So now we're going to take some felt paper and overlay the valley. Here we have three feet of ice and water shield at the bottom eave, and also three feet going up the valley. 18 inches on each side. Under ordinary conditions, correctly installed slate roofing will keep all of the water out of your building. Under extreme weather conditions, however, a leak may occur where the ice and snow can build up and get behind the slate. Therefore, in cold weather climates, it's a good practice to cover the bottom three feet of heated space as well as the valleys and protrusions with ice and water shield. Most granulated ice and water shields require the felt to cover it completely. What happens is the slate will stick to the ice and water shield when it gets hot. But many brands now have this plastic layer on top of the sticky asphalt. In this case, we're just going to overlap the ice and water shield with standard 30 pound felt and we'll lap it the minimum two inches. And it's probably easiest just to lap it across the top line of the ice and water shield. This will keep your underlayment straight. The nails we're using are inch and a quarter button cap nails. These nails have the plastic cap on them to resist wind, so the underlayment won't blow off before you get your roof on. Once we cover the last row, we cut it along the valley. Another method would be weaving it. The underlayment should have a minimum horizontal lap of two inches for each row and a minimum vertical lap of six inches. The underlayment is there to cushion the slate, keep your roof dry until the roof is put on, and it also keeps your roof dry if a slate were to fall out until it can be repaired. With the underlayment in place, we're now ready to chalk our lines and start nailing our slate on. This is the overlap method of using the underlayment beneath the slate roof. 